In this lecture, we're going to finish the design of our map. There's a lot we can add to the map. However, I don't want the course to get too repetitive. We will add one more tile before moving on to other topics. Currently, I'm viewing the corner of the second tile map. There is a weird gap appearing between the edges. I think it's awkward. I've provided a model for addressing this issue. In the Game Assets slash Terrain folder, search for a model called Ground Grass Corner Tile. Similar to the previous lecture, the corner will be applied to different areas of the tile map. By default, the orientation of this tile will always be the same. We must rotate it for each corner. Try tackling this problem as an exercise. Paint the model in the corners of the tile map. Each time, you will need to rotate it. Pause the video and good luck! Welcome back. If you are able to tackle the exercise, that's great. If not, let's try tackling it together. First, we should change the model prefab into a regular prefab. Drag the model into the hierarchy, reset the transform, drag it into the tiles folder, and delete the object from the hierarchy. Perfect, the tile is ready. Next, let's switch over to the tile palette window. Drag the ground grass corner tile prefab into the game object field. Change the active tile map to ground 1. Lastly, turn on the brush. If you haven't already, update the scene to look at our map from an aerial view. We're going to paint the top right corner of the tile map. Paint a single tile into the corner. The tile should be perfectly positioned in the corner. Next, let's work on the bottom right corner. In the Tile Palette window, set the Y orientation to 90. Move the camera to the bottom right corner. After doing so, paint the tile. Let's do the same for the bottom left corner. This time, the orientation should be 180. Paint the tile into the corner. One more tile to go. For the top left corner, set the orientation to 270. Lastly, paint it into place. We're finished. As always, move around the scene to verify the placement of the tiles. This concludes this section of the course. In an hour, we were able to design a cool map. We could improve the design by adding more details. However, I'm happy with this result. In a future section, we'll get an opportunity to refine the map. Before ending this lecture, let's reset the orientation of the brush. In the Tile Palette window, set the Y orientation to 0. I think it's time to start programming. When you're ready, I'll see you in the next lecture.